Boo! It's, don't boo me. Don't appreciate that. Nice floor. Oh yeah, I was adjusting my webcam setup. Let's see, got this good. Got this good. This is good. Boo like a ghost, silly. Yeah, sure. Boo like a ghost. Alright. Yo! Let's try again. The Ironclad. Act 1. Exordium. Choose a card to obtain. Obtain 100 gold. Take 18 damage to gain plus 14 max HP. Or boss swap. Our boss is the Hexagoost. And I was mentioning how I wanted to try boss swap versus Hexagoost. Yo, Eli coming in with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks so much. I really appreciate your continued support. It means a lot to me. What were... Yeah, thanks so much. I was saying about how when I'm facing the Hexagoost, I am sometimes having a hard time. And maybe a good way to get a random chance to have something really good happen to beat the Hexagoast is to have a random chance of boss relic. Maybe like a four energy deck could have a higher good chance versus the Hexagoast. And I don't really see these three options helping us that much versus the Hexagoast. Further, um, our, the reason that I don't normally do this very much is because I consider burning blood to be very powerful. At the end of combat we heal six, and that is a great way to survive act one. But versus the Hexagoast, it's a big on attack at turn two is more damage the more HP you have. So having a lot of HP going to the Hex Ghost doesn't really help you win the fight. So, you know, the burning blood value could potentially get wasted a little bit. Uh, especially if we are doing quite well through the act and we don't need the HP. So how many elites can we fight? We could fight a maximum of three elites, it looks like. Um, to do that, we would just need to... Well, probably we'd go over here and then rest here and then have an elite and then rest and then have an elite and then rest and then have a spicy at the end right before the boss. I really like the late, late act spicy elite, um, especially with a rest site right before. I don't see much going wrong here. Um, yeah. Um, we could also take the gold and head over to this shop if we wanted. But I'm feeling like today might be a day for some fun. And let's let's try out the boss swap. None of these options are insane. We're against the Hexaghost. Let's do it. Lamo! It's a runic dome! Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer see enemy intents. This is going to be a very high effort run where I frequently pause and alt tab to check the wiki and see what my enemies are up to. Some of them I will have to not know for sure because it will be random. Indeed, it is a runic doom. This guy is not attacking on turn one. But he is attacking on turn two. Hopefully I draw triple strike next turn. Nice. Big focus. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough one. Oh, there's a disarm for Hexaghost, friends. The game wants me to win this time. We just need to make it to Hexaghost, I guess. Well, 
I mean, it's not a free fight, but this arm is very, very good versus Hexagos. Alright, so this guy is attacking for how much? I don't know. I think it can be for 12 or 10, or maybe he's just gonna make us weak. Yeah, but we don't know for sure. So we'll just have to find out how much damage we take. Okay, we only took one. Okay. Sounds good to me. Um, bash double strike is 8 plus 9 plus 9, which is exactly 26. Ooh, there is a shrugged off, a cleave, and a blood for blood. We have 4 energy, so drawing cards is good. On the other hand, we do need some attacks to fight elites. Blood for blood is, gonna be honest, not my favorite. The cleave is worth considering, but also not really my favorite. Um, I mean, it's not too bad. Yeah, we could consider a cleave, but I do like to shrug it off on a 4 energy deck. It is a jaw worm. This is our third hallway fight. So this is our last easy hallway fight. All future hallway fights will be from the advanced pool. So I'd much rather take these two events than uh, go to this one over here. Don't need a shop now anyway. Okay, we took five. Nothing we could do about it. It'd be really nice to know whether this guy was um, attacking us or blocking in right now. But I think this should full block no matter what he does. Okay, he was blocking. So we missed out on a little bit of value there. And um, this should be fine, right? He got five, three strength, so eh. Could defend here. And then, let's see. Bash, triple, bash, double strike is, yeah, that's actually enough, I'm pretty sure. No, no, it's not, it's not. Okay, we take a couple damage then. Oh, we blocked it fully because he wasn't doing the big attack. Excellent, excellent. Um, swift potion. Not bad. There is a corruption. There is also a body slam and a pummel strike. Wow, corruption is a pretty cool card. It says that skills cost zero whenever you play a skill exhausted. But is it too early for corruption, friends? We don't have a lot of skills yet, but we did add two to our deck already. Versus Hexaghost, it's probably not bad at all to exhaust our defense. Then we can draw our attacks more frequently. Um, Body Slam is also good, especially in a 4 energy deck, because you can spend all of your energy gaining block. We already have a Shrugged off. And then we can convert the block to damage. Pommel Strike is also quite good. So, the thing is with uh, Body Slam is not as good versus Gremlin Knob, but it's quite good versus the other two. Corruption is not good versus any of them. No, it's good versus Legavalon, actually. Well, is it? I think it is. But, hmm. Getting an attack would be nice. Definitely gonna want that versus Sentries. Definitely gonna want Pommel Strike versus Gremlin Knob, but... We do have draw card potion. I'm down for the body slam. Let's just... We might get lucky and not have to fight the knob anyway. Oh, it's an advanced hallway fight. And we only drew one block card. Which means we're taking some damage. Unfortunately. Alright. He's attacking for, I want to say, 11. Or is it 12? I can't remember. I think this should be fine. Ooh, now there's a choice between Shockwave, Anger, and Clothesline. 
Shockwave is a great source of damage versus Hexaghost that applies three vulnerable and also three weak, so we don't take as much. Anger is less good in a four energy deck. I think this is a pretty clear Shockwave. Three vulnerable is a lot more damage than the extra 12 from Clothesline, so I'm very happy with this Shockwave. Good versus Hexaghost, good in general. And we have come across a random shop, despite our avoiding of a shop. There is a feed that we can buy, and we have exactly enough gold for it! This feed is huge. We can gain max HP. Yeah, this feed is big, right? Deal 10 damage if fatal, raise your max HP by 3. And we can get that super, super early in the game. Gain max HP for almost a lot of the fights throughout the game. This is huge. Not even going to consider anything else. Now we have a choice to rest for 20 or smith. I think we have enough HP that we should probably smith. We won't die to this elite at 55, and then we can rest if we need to afterward. Um, personally, the shockwave upgrade is very good. The body slam upgrade is also quite good. The bash upgrade is less good now that we have shockwave. Disarm, maybe right before the hexaghost, but not now. Or feed to start getting more max HP. Hmm. I don't think it's feed. I want to be a little bit safer here. And shockwave seems great. It's a Legoblin. I'm pretty sure this fight is excellent for us. Um, but yeah, we have the shockwave before he wakes up. We can disarm before he wakes up. We can just wake him up right now. Next turn we have three strikes. How much can we do now? Well, we can put three extra vulnerable on there, but we don't really need to. Yeah, let's just wake him up with three strikes next turn. That seems fine. Yeah, no need for that. Okay, and now he's only attacking for like 13 or 14. Um, I mean, yeah, we take a little bit of damage. We should probably bash, I want to say. Bash over two strikes here. So we give up... Um, Give up a little bit of damage, but the vulnerable will not run out, so it's worth it. And then we take a hit. Owie ow. Uh, we can do some blocking. Don't take this hit. Okay, shrug. Body slam. Yeah. Um, okay, we should probably think a little bit though, because we are getting the debuff this turn. Do we want to get the strike feed in before the debuff? Because we could do 24 and then go put him down to 20. Whereas if we bash... It goes down to 32... We don't set up lethal. We'll probably take a fair hit. We don't have, he's not weak anymore. Yeah, I think we need to go for the kill here. Triple strike is gonna do on, uh, we would need the quad strike though. Eh, I guess we can draw a potion for it. This is unfortunate that we're not getting feed value. Uh, yeah, so draw potion or take 14. We should just draw potion. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of sad that we didn't get the feed off. Uh, but it's okay. We'll get it for later. Hey, and we guess what? We upgraded our feed. And we upgraded bash. We didn't hit any strikes with this whetstone. Upgraded two random attacks and, um, 
like almost the best possible outcome. I would have liked to see the body slam, but dodging the strikes is good. Strike potion for Hexaghost is good. Feel no pain is a great card. We might fight tri sentries. Don't see any reason not to take this. We have HP, so we can smith. Um, yeah, let's get the body slam upgraded, right? Can gain more block and then deal more damage. There is an oddly smooth stone to start each combat with one dexterity. That also can be converted into some damage with body slam. Okay, this is unfortunate. We don't know which one is attacking us. I guess it doesn't matter. You just play our blocks and play our strikes. Could bash, because we might be weak next turn. I'm fine. Julian, hey! Did you and Jeannie finish that game? We did not. Let's be safe. Being safe is good. Target the guy that probably... I don't even remember what he did. Okay, now we buffed. So now we should kill him and we can kill him with feed. That's great. So we can strike feed or we can shockwave feed. Shockwave feed defend should be fine. Yum yum, plus four max HP. <laughs> At least you didn't lose. Yeah, we're playing on Ascension one, so it's not quite as hard, but. Liquid Bronze, also good versus Hexaghost. Um, gain three thorns, not bad at all. Twin Strike Cleave or Rupture. We don't have much strength, so Twin Strike is looking less good. But maybe some AoE damage could be good. We could take a cleave here. Wow, you're going to be so tanky if you got the nom this early. Yeah, we purchased it from a store. Got a random store here and bought a, bought ourselves a nice feed. All right, I was thinking some AOE would be good um, so that we don't like completely die to like Gremlin later in Act Two and stuff. We don't have an Immolate yet or really much of any of that damage that hits more than one attacker. We already have Disarm for like Book of Stapping and Hexago stuff, so. Having some kind of damage to hit multiple enemies is good. All right, it is a knob. We should consider using the strength potion here. This turn one is looking very weak. And I'm a little scared potentially. Yeah, like we could not draw shockwave. I mean, shockwave already is gonna be gaining him three strength. And body slam isn't so good because in order to gain block, we need skills. Skills gave him more strength. I think we should play the strength potion to try to not die. I believe I'm practicing right now. Good luck with your practicing. Shockwave is a huge amount of damage. It does make him angry, but it also makes him weak and gains us three block from our feel no pain. Um, now we have a question about whether we should use the feed or whether we should use a strike here. We miss out on nine damage in order to have a feed in our deck. Um, so the nine damage, no, wait, he goes to 46. Next turn, we don't have lethal. The turn after that, we still probably won't draw feed. But will we have lethal? Um, hmm. Not really sure about that. Next turn, turn off. No, we're not going to have lethal in two turns, right? Which means we're taking at least one big hit. Wait. This turn, and then next turn we take a big hit. 
But what if we take two big hits? That would be so bad. Uh, also, feed gains us three block from exhausting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's really much chance. Well, okay. So, yeah. so we play strike. He goes to four, 46. Okay. We play bash. That's 15. He goes to 31. We play... No, no. That's more than 15. That is 12. And 6 is 18. So he goes to... 20, 28. 28. Strike. Um, he goes to 16. Body slam. He goes to 13, maybe less. Cleave, he goes to 12. So as long as we get some block in with the body slam, we'll have lethal, which actually means that we might have a chance of getting feed. Um, yeah, actually, I think it is safe to strike here. We won't take two big hits. We'll only take one big hit. Cool. So that means there's some chance that we get to get our feet off. Yeah, so this this big hit is going to be big. Like, at least 20... No, no, he's weakened. He's weakened! Yo! Alright, yeah, there's no... Tr we have one strike, and then we'll draw... Uh, three other cards. There's no way it doesn't work out. And uh, can we even defend here? Yes, we can. Draw feed, draw feed, draw feed. One in ten, one in ten. Ah, dang. 31 gold, a preserved insect. Enemies in elite combats have 25% less HP for the rest of the game. That's big. Battle Trance and Iron Wave. Oh my. Battle Trance is a really good card, especially on a 4 energy deck with Runic Dome. We can draw feed more likely when we need to. The only question is do we want this Iron Wave? It's good block for Body Slam, but there's better ways to gain block that will be getting offered soon and I would not like to miss this Battle Trance. It's a really good card. Oh, it's a scrap ooze. Well, we can rest here. So we just take it unless we die. We got it for only five life. Pog. Happy flower coming in. Every three turns, even more energy. So we should probably rest to make sure we don't die to this elite that we're taking on. Um, don't want to be risky or anything. It is a spicy elite, after all. It's a spicy Leguvalin. But guess what? He has 25% less HP. Battle Trance. Disarm. We'll get the Shockwave and the Body and the Feel No Pain out of our deck. Um, then we can wake him up next turn. He does have three regeneration, which is worth noting. Wakey, wakey! Alright, he's hitting us for 15, probably 14 or 13, because he has minus two strength. Um, so we take a little... Oh, we don't even take any damage, because our Ascender's Bane exhausted on, on its own accord. Draw some cards. Uh, gain some block and then body slam. Very good. Yeah, cleave. And body slam. Oh, I had one more energy and I just completely forgot to play it. You know, I'm a silly goose sometimes. But it doesn't matter. We are feeding on this fool. Okay, that makes me seem really silly for resting, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if it was sentries, would it have been that easy? Honestly, yeah. Gremlin Knob was by far the hardest for us. And maybe even versus sentries, we don't take 15. I'm not 100% sure, 
But the Gavilan, yeah, the Gavilan was a cakewalk. All right. Ancient tea set. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two energy. It's all right. Emerald key. Good. Fear potion. Good. And there is a choice between fire breathing, thunder clap, and wild strike. Um, yeah, so wild strike is not good. Thunder clap is not good. The only question is about fire breathing. We don't have any curse or status cards, but versus Hexaghost, he will be shuffling in a lot. Um, don't... Do we need more damage versus Hexaghost? I don't think so. I'm also not really excited about having a Fire Breathing in our deck. It is good versus Slavers, um, but not that good versus Slavers. I think I'd rather skip. We'll be fine versus Hexaghost with this Thorns Potion. And now we can have a choice of what to upgrade. Disarm upgrade is good versus Hexaghost. Shrug might be a little bit better um, in other fights. Disarm is just generally good in Act 2 though, because there's like Book of Stabbing and stuff. Alright, well. It's turn 1. All this energy is going to waste. Because, yeah, we had this and then... We just didn't draw cards to play, but it's fine. Okay, now he has a big attack. We can gain some thorns. And we can disarm! So now his attack is way, way, way less. Oh, it's down to one? Easy. Right, Shockwave is great. He's doing a Seer, I want to say, which will, like, do no damage. So we can just bash or, like, whatever. Probably should save the... Eh, yeah. I won't draw a card. Battle Trance. Draw three cards. And then we strike him down. Uh, this is a tackle turn, so we could consider playing a defend if we wanted to. Um, sure. Alright, draw some block for this body slam. Just playing my cards. We're gonna have to survive the big attack, but it won't actually be that big because he's been disarmed. So that's fine. Can still go for the feed, maybe? Uh, dealing 18 would put him to 22. We have Battle Trance next turn. I think we'll be fine. Uh, we should play our blocks though. Let's see, how much is it? It was three times six. That wasn't bad at all. Feed please. Feed is here! Yum yum! 71 gold, a strength potion. And a choice between Bludgeon, Juggernaut, and Fiendfire. Well, we have a Feel No Pain, which makes Fiendfire good. It also makes Juggernaut kind of good, right? Because if we're exhausting cards, then Feel No Pain will trigger, which also triggers Juggernaut. There's also a Bludgeon, which is maybe okay, but I'd rather not. I like the Juggernaut also with like a scaling thing with a Body Slam deck, um, but Fiendfire is um, potentially really strong. Well, we have a lot of energy, so exhausting our cards isn't even as good as it could be, because we could just play our cards, you know? So I kind of like the Juggernaut. Ooh, Coffee Dripper! Gain mana at the start of your turn. You can no longer rest at rest sites. This is a little bit worse than it normally would be on Ironclad, because you don't have Burning Blood anymore. Could remove two strikes, or we could say a Runic Cube whenever you lose HP, draw a card. I will say I am not a huge fan of Runic Cube. Coffee Dripper? I 
Tree Dripper is potentially a little scary. But is our deck good? I think our deck is good. Resting is really good though with feed. Because we'll have a lot of max HP so we can rest for quite a lot. Yeah, I think Coffee Dripper is good. More energy, more better. I always lose when I take Coffee Dripper. Yeah, and this this isn't going to make it easier having Runic Dome and having no... Uh, having no... Burning Blood. But we'll get there. We have Preserved Insect, so Elites aren't as scary. We have an Automaton at the end of the act. So rest sites are only upgrades, but upgrades are good. We consider going to a shop. We can take a three elite path. Um, we might want to go over here to do that. Get some question marks in. And then the other elites are optional even after that. So I don't see any reason not to just head on up. And there's Keen, hey. Hi, can be. How's it going? Disarm versus the birds. Unfortunately, I do not know which one is doing a multi-attack on me, but uh, it's still good. Shrug it off. We can gain some block. Oh, I guess we are taking some damage here. Maybe I should have considered knocking one down. No, I mean, disarm is still better, but... Yeah. Yeah, shrug it off. Well, it's fine. It was fine. Okay, disarm. I don't have to care about you anymore. Let's see how much damage I take. Okay, he was buffing. He was buffing. He was buffing. They were all buffing. Wow. Makes me really regret not knocking one of them down. Anyways. Don't have much of a choice here. Okay, we took 15. And we took 12 because he wasn't doing a multi-attack. Oh my gosh, that was painful. I really got punished for not knocking him down. Hmm, yeah, that was really bad. Oh well. Please do a multi-attack. Okay, well, he's buffing. I guess that's fine too. We need way more card draw. We don't have nearly enough. Okay, feed should hopefully be working. It's dealing nine. Perfect. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little scared. That fight went so, so bad. Drawing cards is good though. Dealing damage and drawing cards, yeah. Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. Um, this is really bad, yeah. Uh, 27 life when we can't rest. Um, Or we can take a curse. Um, curse is so bad for us, though. Yeah, it's going to be a really hard fight. 
Uh, I mean, we could take the curse and try to dodge elites, but we have this thing for elites. I don't know. Yeah, just don't take the curse. Or do take the curse. Actually, I think taking the curse is better than 27 damage. We can remove the curse eventually. I don't know. I'm really upset about this. No, I don't want to lose all my gold. Let's fight. This guy's hitting for 12 turn 1, by the way. Oh my gosh, this stupid curse. Vulnerable. Strength. Yes, strength. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Gain four life, which seems not worth. So we don't. At least Feel No Pain is doing work here. Oh my, my. Why, deck? For sure, we were taking more than three there. All right, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, pommel strike, armaments. Don't really want these. I mean, pommel strike isn't so bad. Yeah, maybe we just keep taking pommel strike because we have so much energy. Two pommel strikes seems a little excessive, but we don't have awesome damage, so maybe it's fine. I think it's actually fine. I think it is actually fine. Ooh, get jaxed. We can lose our life. We don't have a way to restore our life. Ingest mutagens. I mean, it's not bad, but I'd much rather transform two strikes here. We need good cards in our deck, and uh, strike is just not it. Fiend fire and evolve. Solid. I mean, is fiend fire? I don't know. Shell the parasite, bruh. Bruh, this hand is complete garbage. Okay, fiend fire just isn't that good. I. Don't, I 
like fine, but. No! Alright. Let's see. Heal no pain. Good to get in play. We should probably shrug before we battle chance. So shrug first. Battle chance second. Cannot draw any more cards. But we can gain some block here. And we can do an attack. And we can either feel no pain or strike, but I think feel no pain is fine. Um, cleave feed to gain some feel no pain block, but then we don't get the don't get the feed later. This is problematic. Could just bash. Uh, I think the feel no pain is kind of important. Painful. Okay, finally got this arm. Okay, it's finally dead. Oh, and there's a power through, which is good. Okay. Are we just dead right now? Right here, right now? Shockwave. Not bad. Exhaust three. And kill it. Don't have another, we don't have a choice here. I mean, yeah. If we're dead right now, we're dead right now. Like, there's nothing I can do. Well, we're not dead just yet. But we're certainly close to dead. Hmm. I'm actually not even sure if I want to play Battle Trance. Just means we draw the cards sooner. Not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Oh man. Can we go for feed? No. Cause this juggernaut kills him. And we die if we don't, right? Do I know what turn it is? Let's see, this is probably I just need to know if he's attacking for six or not. No, he's attacking for, yeah. Old coin, 300 gold, that's great, but we still have to not die. Barricade, I mean, I love barricade, but is this really the time? Oh, gosh. 
Barricade does nothing on its own. I mean... This is such a decision, isn't it? I think the I don't think we can afford to play barricade if we're at three. Hmm. Ooh, candle. We can exhaust our curse, but it's not that good. We still have to draw our curse. And it's a snack. we do here? We need to draw for block cards, I guess? It's never lethal, right? What's the best way to draw a battle chance? We don't even have block cards! Hello? Can you maybe get a fiendfire lethal? Ooh, fiendfire. Ooh! Iron Wave. That's not great. It's not great. It is something. There's a small bit of something. The boot was not what I needed. Can we fight an elite at three? Or are we gonna rather fight a hallway fight at three? It's not it's not slavers, which is good. Gremlin leader seems kinda doable. Book of stabbing seems kinda not doable. Should we choose the hallway instead? Hallway is gonna be a little easier, but I don't know how much easier. Maybe we just take the elite. And then maybe the shop will save us. We have to hope for something from the shop, right? Yeah, the shop has to save us. There's no way we're beating this boss at three, right? Book of Stabbing! Ha ha, why? Why stupid curse? No, I'm just dead. Can we get an F in the chat? RIP! Wow, that just went so poorly. I thought her deck was okay, too. Uh, it didn't have enough block. It had energy, but not a good way to convert it to block.
Interesting. Oh well. The spire consumes another. That's a rip! That is a rip. Yeah, I guess Coffee Driffer probably wasn't the pick, but... Man, it doesn't, doesn't change the fact that our deck wasn't doing so good. Well, what should we play next? Anyone have a preference between a Silent Defect and Watcher? It's your favorite class. Going once, going twice. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Alrighty, it is the silent. Obtain a random common relic. Pretty good, pretty good. Choose a card to obtain. Lose all gold to choose a rare card to obtain. Or do a boss swap. We have to fight a hexaghost over here. Which means we're going to want to draft poison cards. I like random common relic. You could also do a boss swap though. I like boss swap on silent quite a bit. Eh, I guess random common relic is good though. Art of War, if you do not play any attacks during your turn, gain an additional energy next turn. Perfect, we're just gonna play poison cards. We're going to make sure we don't fight any elites ever, and we're going to draft all the poison cards, and we will beat Hexaghost, and we will beat all the app bosses. Right? That sounds like a good, good idea. I don't actually know if that's a good idea. Because there's an option to fight so many elites here. Should probably go for that. We don't want to shop on 99 gold, do we? How about no? Okay, so we're not going to Art of War this turn. Uh, we'll kill this guy next turn, hopefully. Although we didn't set up lethal because we are bad. 13 and he's attacking for 15. Hmm. Full block. Solid, solid. And he is dead. Or it is dead. It's a poison card, but it's also a terror. Terror is pretty good against the Hexaghost, for sure. But poisoned. But terror, but poison. I actually do like the poison here. Take one damage to get a strike in. I think it's worth. Might not be worth, but I think it's worth. Now we can take two damage to get a strike in. Maybe we'll say it's not worth, just for the sake of argument. Now we are four damage off lethal, so we have to take two again. Or we have to take two for the first time. So there really there was no way around taking the two, was there? And uh, cool. Infinite Blades, not so good with Art of War. 
Um, escape plan, not bad. Blade dance, not not bad. Blade dance is probably just pretty good. Uh, kind of some anti-scaling against the Gavilan if they debuff our strength. Um, but good to have damage versus Hexaghost, for sure. Escape plan is one option. Uh, we take Blade Dance here. It's strong. Yeah, this guy doesn't stand a chance. Look at this full block despite being frail. Heart of War Energy. That is not even used. Choice between another Blade Dance, a Sucker Punch, and a Dodge and Roll. None of these are particularly exciting. I mean, we could take another Blade Dance, but... I'd much rather take Poison. Where's the Poison at? Hmm. Blade Dance is kind of questionable against Gremlin Mob because it's a skill. You know. Sucker Punch. Eh. What if I skip? Is that ever a thing? Probably not, right? I just need to take the Blade Dance so I don't die to this. Alright, I think we can survive this. Ooh, it's a letter opener! Hooray! Skills. Colorless potion. Dark Shackles, Mayhem, Panic. Definitely not Panic Button. Dark Shackles kind of sucks because of their invulnerable or artifact, sorry. And I have to decide between strike and defend. And I think it might be better to, let's see. So if you have Blade Dance, then that's 12, 18, 21. So it's theoretically possible to kill. Oh, I should have maybe considered doing the letter opener with double defend, but... If we don't draw Blade Dance, we can't kill, so probably just strike. Stricky strike. Piano is hard? Oh no, I'm sorry. But I think you're pretty good at piano. One skill. Uh, two skills. Three skills. Owie, seven damage, owie. Wait. What are these cards that keep getting played? Oh, is it just dazed? I haven't even been noticing. Okay, so that was a strike that just got played. Sounds about right. Take two more damage. Now it's finally dead. Blue candle, kind of crappy. Emerald key, regen potion, pretty good. Um, backflip, pretty good. Deflect is a skill for art of, uh, for letter opener, sorry. Where's the poison at? Take a deflect. 
Can we fight an elite? Um, we have to fight another elite afterward. We only have one potion. Seems kind of sketchy. And if I'm really trying to win here, I should not do that. It is a bad idea. Gremlin knob do be killing us. Fine. Easy fight. Very nice. Dupe potion, very nice. Backstab, very nice. Uh, not great with Artivore, but turn one we'll probably be playing attacks anyway. this defend grand finale seems like a nope where's the poison at my friends I wanted the poison cards and they didn't offer them to me there's a pen nib well we do play a lot of attacks so we can trigger it fairly frequently Hmm, I guess so. Now we can go here and rest. Or we could smith even. We have potions. Yeah, I'm down to smith. Smith, smith, smith. Smith are neutralized because that's my favorite smith. Okay, we killed that guy. Art of War energy. But no block. Uh, yeah. Oh well. If I had dupe potioned, I could have saved 8 life here. Dex potion. Oh, that makes me not regret not using this a lot. Sad. Piercing will. Good versus hexagos. And that is a knob. Oh. Should we do potion this blade dance? Well, we could do potion the poison stab. But that's a little bit worse. Okay. How do we do we have enough hand space to do potion that? We don't. Oh no, we do. Six, yeah. Neutralize is huge. We can send for the next attack as well. We can't even survive the next attack, so maybe it didn't matter. Maybe I was just lying. Ah, uh, wait. Three skills is five from letter opener. A strike is 11 and poison is 13. But guess what? He's at 14. Oh no. Pet 
Pendib is one away from triggering. I think I I think I threw this fight by not pendibbing a better attack on a shiv on turn one, because I had the power to do that better. Wait, are we dead though? Maybe we're not dead. We're at exactly 31, and he's attacking for 31, so maybe if we defend we're not dead. Alright. Save Pendib for next fight. Knock- oh, fires! Here's the poison! About time, poison. Noxious fumes is better versus Hexaghost, but this is way better in Act 2, so... Double backstab! Weak potion, alrighty. Riddle with holes, none of this stuff, right? Unless we want a dagger throw. Nah. None of that stuff. Well, we cannot spend 7 HP, so let's gain some gold. Should we rest? Uh, unclear. Probably... Actually, maybe not. Hexagos, usually you just want to kill him before the big attack, and I don't think we'll take any damage before that, especially since we're so low, his sec turn 2 attack will be like 1 times 6 or even 0 times 6, I don't know. And then we just upgrade this to pop more poison. Alrighty, good poison. Probably could have done that better with the pen nib. I just completely forgot about it. Uh, let's see, it's probably like one times six. Yeah, one times six. Um, should we apply three week? Let's think about the pattern. Um, Seer, tackle, slay thus fire is the sickest experience, which means Seer, tackle, Seer. And we can hit that all with the three week. Or we can hit the second tackle seer. Uh, wait, no wait, seer tackle seer. Wait, so inf divider and then seer tackle seer. Um, it's probably better to save it, but we might also be weak. No, the weak will just stack up with neutralize anyway. Yeah, we, we just use this. Try not to take any damage. Weak is stacking up. Defend so we're not dead. All good there. And save our defense. Pen nib, no choice, whatever. Well, we are taking some damage, right? We're at nine, but we're only taking six. Not dead yet. One damage. Okay, he's still weakened, but I don't think it's enough, right? We're just still dead because we only have deflect for blocking. That is an oof. Guess I could have rested. Rip. Alright. Seems like no one's watching the stream, so... At least that says I just have one viewer, so I think I will end it here. But uh, as always, I appreciate it, and uh, see.
see you next time. I'm watching F. Rip. Sorry. Yeah, I had five viewers. I, I had five viewers earlier, but uh, I don't know where they all went. You were cheering for me the whole way from your keyboard. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. But yeah, not a great day for America. I, mean, I don't know why I said that. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.